the question whether NATO troops should be sent to Ukraine. What do you make of the comments of President Macron suggesting we shouldn't rule that out? And would Lithuania support sending troops to Ukraine? Well, I think it's, uh, it's a well-timed and uh, I'm sure that well-thought-through comments that, uh, that Lithuania does support. Um, I think that seeing the situation as it is now in Ukraine, we do need brave steps. We need to uh, delete the red lines that we impose on ourselves. Because what we're seeing is happening, you know, and what measures Putin is taking in Ukraine, and even not in Ukraine, with cyber activities and, and hybrid activities in European countries, he doesn't have any red lines. The only red lines that there, that there are in the battlefield that are imposed on, our, on ourselves, and we impose on ourselves. So President Macron, you know, he tries to, to delete, uh, you know, certain, certain red lines, and that's why we will support him. Uh, and as far as, you know, sending troops to, to Ukraine, I would say as much that we should not take any options off the table. So you agree with President Macron. I would like to get your thoughts also on uh, what has said in Germany by the Chancellor Olaf Scholz. He is making several repeated comments that he is not supportive of sending troops to Ukraine. As Chancellor, he will not take that step. He's been very clear. But my question to you is, is this rhetoric from Germany needed at this stage? Or do you think they, the comments from the Chancellor of Germany are actually detrimental to the European unity at this stage? Well, first of all, uh, President Macron mentioned that he's seeking of, uh, to build a, a coalition of like-minded countries. Uh, and uh, it can be, you know, it can be formed in a number of ways and it can take, uh, the countries can take on, I understand, can take a different responsibility in, in the coalition when and if it forms. Um, we've seen in the past, throughout the last two years, that there was a difference in opinions when it comes to what equipment could be sent and what could not be sent. Just, you know, the one simple example is that uh, France and Great Britain are sending long-range missiles and Germany and United States are not sending long-range missiles. So there's also already a disunity if, if you were, you know, look into this from, from that perspective. But then again, you know, that means that there is a way how to push the assistance further. So, you know, countries like Lithuania, and I'm quite sure that many countries from the eastern flank would always be in the coalition assisting Ukraine as much as we can with everything that we can.